room after the Niners beat uh, the Seattle Seahawks 21-13 in the Pacific Northwest. The Niners have not had success there, so every win in Seattle is huge. Um, and for the Niners' seventh win in a row, I thought Purdy was outstanding. I thought, okay, so let's get into a couple plays that I thought were just incredible. One, um, the the play to Tyler Croft on the 10th drive, fourth quarter. You know, at this point, Niners just trying to kind of run out the clock and, and you know, drive the football. There's still, it was a second and seven play from uh the 43 yard line and that and he just absolutely you know held the ball perfectly got the protection knew the tight end was going to separate saw it stayed under control layered it over the defender and just dropped it in his lap it looks like an easy throw it's not an easy throw and it's a it's the kind of throw where it's easy to overthrow it under the throw it get it picked not only did he make the throw, but he made it look like he could make it a hundred times in a row. You know what I mean? I, I felt like I'm watching Steph Curry at the line. You know, it's like, yeah, he looks pretty confident. Oh yeah. He was um, 11 for 11 at one point. That, and then- so that throw Danny really stood out. The other one that I got to mention here to me, this is in some way the, the best moment of the entire night. If you're a 49er fan, because ultimately what are the Niners? They've got an awesome collection of weapons. They got a really good offensive line suddenly. Um, you know, the, the rookie guards and Brendel, the interior, those guys are playing ball. There hasn't been a lot of pressure in any quarterback's face all year. Um, so their their O-line's been a pleasant surprise. They got as good of weapons as anybody in the league. They got the number one defense, number one against the run, and you know, they're good, they're dominant at all three levels. And if they get healthy for any kind of playoff run, they're stacked. So and right. they've got a, a dependable kicker in Robbie Gold, one of the league's better punters, Ray Ray McLeod, who's a dependable return man. He he's he's you know really good special teams. Odom and they got a number of guys. I mean they get they make plays. They down the ball on the one. They they you know it's a good special teams unit. Um, they've got it all. The question of the of the year for the Niners from this point is Purdy. Right? It's like. How we know he's a pleasant surprise as a seventh round pick, but is he good enough to lead the Niners to us on a Super Bowl run? That's the question. Well, third and seven on the four, you know, what was this early fourth quarter against the Seahawks? They made a great special team play. It was still 21 6 Niners at this point, but you know, they they come out, they down it on the one. Purdy's first down pass gets tipped for the incompletion. Uh, the second the second and 10 play got delayed for a second because the Niners had to call a timeout or they would have gotten a penalty. This, then they run the second and 10 play after the timeout and McCaffrey runs middle for three. So they're sitting there third and seven backed up on their own four, four yard line. The crowd is going crazy and Purdy throws an absolute flat dime it with pace in traffic, put it right on Jawan Jennings' hands, and he oh, caught yeah. it. And it was an, a first down at the 15-yard line, 14-yard pitch and catch like it was nothing. Backed up on his own goal line with the with the place going nuts. Um, with, you know, I mean, it just – this guy's got a steeliness to him that is, is, is pretty noticeable and pretty impressive. So I thought that was an incredible play. Now – how the about other the one lucky, to Ayuk that Ayuk dropped? The one that Ayuk dropped, clearly. <laughs> the bad play for Pur- Purdy was the pick. I mean, it was just a flat duck. It was a floater yeah. in the middle. And Seattle will be kicking themselves for not getting that because after oh, that they didn't get the that, the 49ers the basically game. put the game away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another great hit by Greenlaw tonight. Oh, Some, oh He's gosh. a monster. He is. I loved how they were getting in uh, Metcalf's face tonight. They got him fall flustered. I mean, they were talking crap to him, and he was giving it back. And then the sideline, even the coaches were getting into it. You could see when Metcalf was over on the sidelines and and Ward, Javarius Ward, broke up a pass, and the coaches were getting into it. And Metcalf was – he looked like afterwards he was like, I ain't going to win this battle tonight with these dudes. 